I want to go straight to the word of the Lord. By the grace of God, I thank God because we are threshing, uh, we are threshing the mountains and for sure the word of the Lord, uh, by the grace of God, God will enable us to do that. Uh, I want us to, uh, to read the word of the Lord in the book of 2 Kings, 2 Kings chapter 8, verse 1 to 6. Yes, we can read together. Then Elisha spoke to the woman whose son he had restored to life, saying, Can we read together, all of us? Yes. Amen. Uh, let's also read the book of Hebrews, uh, chapter 4. Hebrews, chapter 4, verse 2. Let's read together. Uh, let's read Hebrews 3.19. I see was key, let's read to some eternal. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, I want, uh, if you are writing, I want to entitle my message, Threshing the Mountains through, through Faith and Obedience. And as we have, learned, uh, we have learned the word of the Lord, we have seen that there was this woman, yeah, Threshing the Mountains through, the, through Faith and Obedience. Uh, this woman, there was this woman of, of Shunem. I just want to take you a little bit back about this woman of the Shunammite woman. If you read from the book of 2 Kings, Hapomwanzo, right now we have started from verse 8, you will get to know the story of this woman. Her name, she, was, she didn't have a name. The Bible says the Shunammite woman, meaning that she was named from the city where she was born. She was from Shunem, and that is where she used to live. Just to take you a bit, a bit back to understand more about this woman, this woman, she was a, a woman of faith. And one day when the servant of the prophet of God, Elisha, was moving around serving the Lord, this woman get an, got an encounter with the, 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 the man of God. And one day she decided, because I always see this prophet of God moving, at, moving all, always, coming this side. I want to do something for, for this man of God. And this woman asked ask, uh, ask her husband where they could, you know, make a room for this man so that when he's going for his mission, he can come back and rest. That story, you are going to find it in the book of 2 Kings from chapter 1, 2, 3. When you read, you are going to get what happened. And so this woman, she was so devoted to the Lord. She encouraged the man of God. She, she made even a room, put a table, put everything. That this man of God, Prophet Elisha, when he comes, he can have a place to rest. And it continued and it continued. This, this man of God, Elisha, because of the good things that this woman had done, what can we do? He asked his servant Gehazi, what can we do about this woman? Because he has been serving us, what can we do to him? And he came to realize that this woman was barren. This woman did not have a family. She did not have a child. And so God, Elisha decided to speak into the, into the life of this woman. And she told her, in, the, in a year's time, in such a season like this, you are going to have a child. And it happened that as the Elisha spoke the word, this woman, by that time of the year that Elisha had prophesied, this woman begot, she got a baby. He got a son. Tell your neighbor, there is no excuse for not serving the Lord. This, this woman, I can imagine, she was barren. She could have said, why serve the Lord with all these problems? 
How serve the Lord who cannot give me a baby? But this woman went beyond all the ridicule. She went beyond all that, all the suffering that she was going through, and she was serving the Lord, even with all the difficulties and all the, all the suffering. And she was so generous. She gave. She gave to the man of God. And so it reached a time that uh, the man of God, because of the, the generosity of this woman, one day the Bible says, as we, well, let's go back to our scripture, uh, uh, 2 Kings chapter 8. It happened that a time came when this woman, a time, then Elisha spoke to a woman whose son he had restored. Okay, we can start from verse 1. A time came because of the good things that, God, that this woman had done to the man of God. One day, the, the Elisha was, you know, God revealed to Elisha that it's going to be a very great famine in the land. And this famine is not going to take only a year or a day or a week. The Bible says the, the famine was to take seven years. And so by the grace of God, because of the good works that this man of God, that this woman had done to the, to the man of God, the Bible says she called out this woman and she told her, together with your son, I want you to leave this land. Go and look for another place to live. Because there is going to be famine in this land. And it's going to take a long time. It's going to be seven years. And I was asking myself when I was preparing this message. How many people were in this land? How many women? How many families were in this land? That the land that was about to be affected by, by famine. But this woman, because of the good works, Elisha spoke to him. She was singled among so many people. And God, to, God revealed to him, just go. And I was asking, Kwa nini si watu wote waambiwe waende? Ni kama taifa letu la Kenya. Because we pray and we trust God for Kenya, things can happen and God reveals them to his own people. Anakuonyesha hivi na hivi kutakuwa hivi. Anakupatia instructions. Because of the way you have worked with God, it is not in vain to serve the Lord. Tell your partner, not in vain to serve the Lord. Kwa sababu huyu mama, kwa sababu ya kutu, ya, you know, serving the Lord. She, she, God revealed. Na huyu mama aliepuka. The Bible says together with her son, as we go back to the, to the scripture, together with her son, they went back. They went and looked for a place in the, in the land of the Philistines. And that is where she, do, you know, that is where she dwelt. For seven years, this woman was there. And the Bible says after the seven years, you know, she went. And it was not easy for her. You can imagine. I was telling the Lord, how was this woman feeling? Remember this woman, in the land that she was before, she was a barren. Because of her good works, God blessed him. Prophetically, God gave him a baby. Meaning, a sign of the goodness of the Lord. Then out of this, then she stood, move out of this place. Maybe she was saying, Kwa nini mungu usinibaliki hapa? Vila ulinipatia mtoto? Kwa nini nitoke? Why do you want me to go to that land? That and the land there. Why not you, God? You know, it was not easy. And that is what is happening to you and me. For sure, we are threshing the mountains. This is the year 2024. The word of the Lord has gone forth. That is time to, to thresh the mountains. It is not going to be by might nor by power, but by the Holy Spirit of God. And this woman, as she, as she just received this word, I could imagine it was not something easy. Arise. Mahari umejenga, mahari unashamba, uko na mali, uotoke uende, ende utafute mahari pengine pa kuishi. But this woman knew the Lord. Alikuwa mejua, whatever is born of prayer is maintained by a? Yes. If you serve the Lord, what is born of prayer? Whatever God gives you, it is maintained by prayer. And also a lot of obedience. And that's how I want you to see this, the obedience. As I say, serving, threshing the mountain through obedience and faith. I want you to see the faith that was in this woman. Immediately she was told the, by the prophet of God, move, go to another place. This woman, though she, maybe she was not, you know, she like, it's like, like she, she believed blindly. She was like, I saw God bless me with a baby through the prophet. And even listen, because the prophet has spoken, I will do such, I'll, I'll obey and do what the prophet has said. And so the Bible says, this woman, she just decided to go with her son. And after she, you know, even before, I, I could imagine, you know, when she was going and asking the Lord, how will it be? I am coming. This place, I'm so comfortable. At least I have, but even if there is famine, God, I, I, haven't you promised to be exempting us from such? Why tell me to go to another place? There was a, it was not a difficult, it was not an easy decision. 
It was not easy. This woman had to risk her life. The Bible says she went to a strange land, a place she has never been before. And the Bible says, I want, I'm going to take you through and you are going to see what obedience did to this woman. And I could imagine sometimes you and I, the word of God has come. We are here to thresh the mountain. I know as a church, we are the people who pray more. We fast right now, 40 days fasting and praying. But even as we are fasting and praying, are we careful, are we sensitive enough to hear the voice of God and to know what God is telling you to do? Because yes, we may fast, the fast will come to an end. And I know these have been our lives. I know all of you, you'll have fasting. But I'm telling you, there is that which voice that God is telling you. There is something that God is speaking to you because God reveals. I think it is on Wednesday we were reminded. We have to trust God because of the process. I think, yes, the process. Because for God to move with us, he will not reveal to us. Hata tuambia ni nini unakuta hapo mbele. Huyu mama hakujua, aliambio amuka, you know, si mama na uende. Lakini hakuambiwa, ukienda kutakuwa hivi na hivi. And that is how our God works. He gives us a word. He doesn't tell you, ame kuambia tu. He's waiting on you to work in your faith and to work in obedience. And that is why we read in the book of Hebrews, chapter 2. For, you can, you can give us the scripture. For indeed the gospel was preached to us as well to them. But the word which they had did not profit them. Not being mixed with faith. How I pray this morning, the people listening to my voice and also for myself. That this is not going to be our verse. Because us, we are going to walk by faith. The word that we are hearing, God has spoken. Go and thresh those mountains. Don't allow doubt. Because this is where the enemy is driving more. He is putting doubt in us. How will it go? How are you going to manage? You are not that much learned. Even you are sick, you are not well. How are you going to make it? How are you going to thresh that mountain? That mountain has been there even in the times of your forefathers. Imekua hivo na imekua hivo. Ata hivo familia enyu na jurikana. There is nothing much. Nobody has ever gone, you know, gone, you know. Nobody has ever gone anywhere. You are just like that. You have to believe. And you, you are there believing. And I pray that this is not going to be us. Because the devil wants to put doubt in us. The word has been preached. We have, we have been praying, but it is our high time. We, if we are going to thresh these mountains, we have to lift up our faith. We have to mix the word that we are receiving with faith so that God may move together with us. The Bible says in the book of Hosea, either 12, Hosea 12, 13, that by, yes, if I'm not wrong, uh, that verse that says that it is by, it is by a prayer, 12, 13, by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet, he was preserved. You see, there is power even in the prophetic word. Don't take prophetic word just for granted. Like the one we have for this church, and even you personally. There is a word that God puts in your heart. You have to mix it together with faith. Because if we don't put faith, we are going to sing the same song all the way to December, and maybe there's not going to be and, and maybe there's not going to be great results. And God has already released the word. Kwa hivyo ni mimi na wewe. Tujikaka muwe. Tuseme buwana kwa imani. If you have ever walked in crazy faith, I want to believe this is the season. God is telling us we mix the word with faith. Buwana asifiwe. And also because God wants to do great things for us. God wants to give us rest. Amen. You want to give us rest from those things that have been struggling, you have been struggling with. Imekua, umeomba, nikweli ya meskia maombi, anataa kukupatia rest. But what does the Bible say in Hebrews 3.19? So we see they were not Hebrews 3.19. We see that they could not enter because of unbelief. You can give us in KJV, all the NLV. So we see that they could not enter in because of unbelief. You know, there is rest that God has promised to the people of God. But how are we going to enjoy this rest? We are going to enjoy and to, to reap the benefits of this rest if only we mix the word of God in faith. I want to tell, tell your partner, can you believe the word of God? Can you refuse and believe? Because th uh, this is where the enemy is driving. Unapewa neno ukitoka pale amenyakua. Anakuonyesha haita wezekana. And Akwanyesha is not enough. I think it's on the news the other time I was, at a, even at Ajana, when they were talking about how now this disease, you know, cancer, the way it is killing and there is no medicine. And I prayed and I told God, now God, you did it for us during Corona. 
si tulikuwa wakati wa corona si corona sasa hiyo ndio ilikuwa imevuma sana watu hata wako wanafikiria mambo za kanza ama nini watu walikuwa naogopa corona si ni ukweli na hatukukufa si tulibakia uhai si kwa sababu tulikunywa you know god preserved us and I was, as I was praying for the Lord to intervene and to cause medicine to be there in the hospitals and everything, God reminded, if I did for you, I did for my people during Corona time, even this time, this monster, it is not going to be a thing of the past. It is not going to kill the people of God. It is time has expired. We have to live by faith and rebuke and believe. Praise the name of the Lord. So this woman, back to our sermon. So this woman, she went to the, sea, to the land of the Philistines. She stayed there for seven years. And even after the seven years, let's go back to verse 6 of our, of, our, of, our, of our reading. This woman, after the seven years, she decided, and you see God is so timing. Sinawambia walikuwa mesema nini ukame, ama the famine will be for seven years. God is, you know, he's very good in timing. The Bible says he makes all things beautiful in the right time. Sindio? And so this woman, after the seven years, hakuna kupitisha, she came back. She went back to her land. When she went there, obvious, she did not find what she left. Maybe she found the land has been occupied. The people, they had done many things. They had taken her land, they had taken her house, everything. She, she, you know, she went back there, even she could not maybe know her praise because of the things maybe that had happened. But this woman decided, I am not going to keep quiet. I want you to see the journey of this woman. This is a prophetic woman. Remember her life. She was barren. She got a baby. She served the man of God. Every blessing connected to this woman, it is through prophecy. Praise the name of the Lord. And so this woman, she decided, I am not going to, to remain here. She said, I am going to make an appeal. Tell somebody, an appeal. Yes, yeah, she, she had the courage because this woman, she's not just a normal woman. She's a woman who has walked with her God. She's a woman who has walked with a lot of obedience. And so she went. She made an appeal before the king. And it was amazing. I was telling the Lord, how, how good. I was just telling the Lord, I want to love you. I just, I, this is what I desire in my life. If you go back to our scripture, you are going to see from 2 Kings, I think chapter 8, verse, verse 5. Yes, this one. Now, let's read together that verse. Are you seeing the greatness of our God? This is not a coincidence. This is the timing of the Lord. How God moves and makes things to work for you with a lot of ease. When you obey the Lord, there is a lot of ease for you. There are things you will not struggle with. And I could see this woman. She went back. Now imagine, alipokuwa naenda, na akamua hiyo diyo siku naenda kotini, Gehazi was there together with the prophet. Not the prophet, together with the king. And the king was asking Gehazi, alikuwa na muliza, ibu niambie, matendo, the things that, uh, that Elisha did during, during, the, during that time, to niambie, give, tell me the things that Elisha had done. And I was telling the Lord, when the, Gehazi was trying to say, you know, you know the, uh, the prophet of Eli, Elisha, all the miracles, we know them. But this one of these women was among the miracles. So Gehazi was trying to say, one day she, he restored back a child for a Shunammite woman. Imagine that was a it was recorded. But for this miracle to take place, remember this woman, she had to, she, she believed. I want you to see that when this woman was blessed with a baby boy, a time came one, let me take you back again. A time came when this woman, this, her son got sick. And because this woman knew the baby was a prophetic baby, she, when the baby got sick, she refused. Alisema, hui wangu hakufi. Siji kama wangu mewaifika mahali, unasema, hii biyashara yangu haikufi. Hii kazi yangu haiendi. Mi si mtu wakufutu wakazi. Siji kama inafika, jukwa sababu umeomba, mungu amekupatia. Na inikikui tunasema, gaida shumekanagia. Tera mbodo gaida shumekanagia. 
akiamua amekubariki hawezi kuja atikushumekia ili anakufanyia shika anaondoa ile kushumekia do you know i don't know what to call it in english ile anakupea hivi alafu anaichukua our god does not work like that atikupatia amekupatia florence akisema ni yako ni yako hakuleta yangu hivi alafu anatoa a akisema ni wewe ni wewe and so this time this woman of god she decided huyu mtoto wangu she was a, a, a nazad prayer na kama even my husband amesema huyu mtoto amekufa hapana this is not the end she went back took alienda akaweka ule mtoto kwa ile nyumba alikuwa ametengenezea elisha na akakimbia akasema apewe a donkey na akaenda kuambia the, the man of god what had happened and i'm telling you it was not easy she had she was a woman of faith and that is how this woman her son was restored back to life are we together so this woman when she was, she was, she had all the confidence cuz she had walked with god the bible says those who walk with god they are going to be strong and they are going to do exploits because they have known their god so this woman she knew everything it is going to work so she went her son was restored back to life so this time when she went back to, after the seven years and she made an appeal for her to be given their her land to be restored and the and the and the house that day imagine i want you to see the timing of god this woman prophetically and irilingana vizuri ni kama saa hii tunaongea no helen tunakuongelelea tukiwa na morin tukiuliza maybe helen anaendelea aje maisha yake iko aje na wewe unaapia hey sarumi anasema na sindia huyu helen na sindia huyu na huyo mama anakuja akiwa na muujiza Anasema mama hapo na kijana naye Gehazi anaambia mfalme ka oh here is the woman Bwana asifiwe this is the woman and this is the son that was restored so whatever and then the king was like she asked the woman is what Gehazi saying the truth and the woman said the Gehazi said the woman said yes it is the truth and the bible says let's read verse 8 the woman um the bible says that the son uh, okay let's okay and when the king asked the woman she told him so the king uh, the king i want you to see this so the king appointed a certain officer for her saying restore eh rebutu some pamoja hapo restore hallelujah bona asifiwe restore all that was hers murudishie kila kitu and all the proceeds of the field from the day that she she left the land until now what a mighty god we serve bwana asifiwe ni mungu wa urejesho this morning i was feeling you are praying for god to restore i may not know the issues we are you are having but i want to assure you as the word of god has come this morning god is in the process of restoring you don't you give up don't you think don't call yourself off just continue trusting this god zile njia ameku ile vile amekupeleka he is involved just trust him this very for the very process mpaka kila kitu kikamilike bwana asifiwe i was saying if this woman lacked faith what we are reading we could not be reading because ange saurika na saurike maybe angeenda katika the strange land asaurike huko and all that but she was a woman of faith a woman of she had a lot of faith in herself and she moved when when she was told when nani the huyu mfalme alisema restore unto her nilikuwa naambia mungu guy god this is what i need from you that god you are able to compensate for us from the day we started suffering hizo miaka zote you know the mountain that you are talking about you know there is that mountain sindio that mountain kuanzia the, the day kama ilikuwa maybe i was like kama ilikuwa 2015 umesonga 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 now the word of the lord is coming to you it's not speaking to the woman now it is the word of god telling you i am going to restore to you everything mateso umepitia shida umepitia the mockery you have gone through the ridicule everything the shame you know what you you know people not even understanding you and because of the things that have you have gone through god is coming to pay you and it's not going to be just you know for this woman i could she see at i uh, know for her she anticipated only the house and the land but who is god mungu alijua kuna watu ata ata i know at a point 
watengeneze watumie shamba la huyu mama kufanya biashara maybe because there was famine maybe they were able enough maybe those you can imagine maybe this woman why god gave out this word to go out of that land alijua during famine wewe umekuwa ukiserve mungu umepatia na resources zako kwa mungu hata hakuna kitu umeweka kwa bank do you know there's people like that they have spent because this kingdom you keep serving the lord umejipatiana yani hakuna ile mudhidho kwa kiku tunasema mudhidho amejiwekea hakuna ile investments mingi uko nayo to be able to preserve you during the time of famine and maybe that's why god decided i am going to exempt this one who you hata pitia haya yote mnapitia because there were so many people in that land but she was singled out because of her faithfulness to the lord and she was moved and god knew i'm going to move you because i'm bringing you back i will bring you after seven years na seven years kuna watu wamelima kuna watu wameweki you know they have made a lot of investment with your land they have they have sold business wame jua wako na mali so wao waliweza ku maybe when it is farming through irrigation so waliweza kufanya hivyo and so they had a lot and so god knew let me exempt this woman and i'm telling you the life of this woman nilikuwa naangalia ni kama mtu alikuwa amefichwa mahali all of a sudden maybe wewe umekaa sana umekuwa ukiserve mungu unajiulizanga mungu mimi nitajenga lini nitafanya nini nitafanya lini hii yangu itaf... na kuambia god knows how to prepare a table for you he knows how to compensate like the way she did for this woman she restored everything mungu alifanya uh, the bible says it was true and imagine ari an officer being appointed hiyo ni kitu rahisi an, an officer was appointed by the king hata huyu mama hashughuliki tena yeye ameingia katika rest the place we are talking about god is assuring us to rest let's continue believing in this god let's continue trusting in him how watoto wako and trust them to the lord he knows their future and at our you know don't don't say god i've been serving you what is all this i'm not no God has made profits for you. Ni kama vile we know in circles we have when we invest money in circles you unapataga dividends. Sasa wewe because you have been serving the Lord it's like you have been investing. Umekuwa ukiinvest in the kingdom of God. Benefits are coming. Dividends are coming. Profits are coming. Na zitakudumisha. You will never know lack any more time because you have been serving the Lord. Let's give Jesus a clap. I want to bring to your attention that God does not reveal to us the process. You know he does not reveal to us the outcome. He wants you to obey the process. Hata kuonyesha kile kuna kugojea when you obey. Remember the story of Abraham when he was told to sacrifice Isaac? It is a time when Abraham took the step that the lamb was provided. God will not show you the outcome first. He wants you to obey the process. And that is you where you and you know uh, uh, you and me hapo ndio tuna tunashindwa sana. But how we pray that God will help us to walk by faith. We are going to put unbelief aside and we continue serving the Lord. The Bible says uh, that um, for God for this woman in the book of the the book of the, the the story that we have just read about the the, Shun, uh, the Shunammite woman. I was telling the Lord this woman did not have a name. Sijui kwa nini atukwambio that we were not told the name. She was just called the Shunammite woman. I could see just maybe she was just a humble woman. Watu walikuwa wanamuona wanasema sasa huyu hata hana ako na mali na hana watoto you know people will just talk because this woman when she said she want to build maybe she purpose to build a, a room for the man of god maybe people are saying ah anafanya tu hivyo ni kwa sababu hana is because ako na pesa na ni juhana watoto so ndivyo but who is our god who is our god when we serve him faithfully and when we obey you know obedience tell your neighbor obedience When you obey God you are going to see the result. I could imagine this woman. She was rewarded. God rewarded her trust, she rewarded her obedience, she rewarded her faithfulness in a good way. And I could imagine everybody celebrating her back in that land, saying look what the Lord has done. And that will be at a testimony. Come and see what the Lord has done because he'll always do it for us. In the book of Zechariah 4:6. God, we can go to Zechariah 4:6. And this is the word that for us for the year about uh, the word of God to Zerubbabel that it is not by might so he has and said to me this is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel and i want you where there is Zerubbabel you can put your name let's read together to Salome <laughs> 
God is saying, yes, God is telling you, it is not by might. You are not going to get that job by might. You are not going to conquer that mountain, that problem, that circumstance, that which have been holding you. It's not going to work because of, it's not by might. See, kwa nguvu zako. Kwa hivyo wewe ni kuamini na kuenenda kwa imani. And then God will come to reward you. It is not by might, nor by power, but by the Holy Spirit of God. You pray, you believe, you act. Because now if you pray and you don't act, then you go down. Nothing happens. But for the miracle to be birthed, you have to pray, you have to trust, you have to put faith, and then you have to act. Bwana asifiwe. Then after acting, hapo ndiyo utaona, mungu wakianza kujidhihirisha. Uzimulize mungu na niambia niende wapi. Nikuwa na uliza huu mama angesema, why are you telling me to go? Angekata kwenda, what could have happened? Disobedience. Angekata, but I thank God because this woman obeyed by faith. I want to give you one, two more verse as we wind up, as we trust God because God is restoring our lives. In the book of Luke chapter 1 verse 18 to 20, uh, verse 1, 18 to 20, I'll just give you two verses and then we pray. Let's read together. This is not going to be any of us, and even myself. This was a servant of God, Zachariah. She had a wife with her wife, Elizabeth. The Bible says they were devoted. They were serving the Lord in the altar. They were priests. They were, serving. I could, they were doing everything in the house of the Lord. But the faith of Zachariah was a bit wanting. When God gave an, 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 the message through the prophet, you know, through the an angel, and she was told, uh, he was told that the wife will get a baby. You have, you have seen the, the question that he started asking. Itafanyika haji, how? And my, my wife has advanced in age. And I'm telling you, if there is anything God hates is unbelief. Tell somebody unbelief. This, this it, you know, it displeased God. Until God told Zechariah, Wewe, you will not speak again. I am going to make you mute. Yani, utafungu, hautaongea. Can you return uh, verse 20? You will not speak again. And how I pray that in this congregation today, that no one will be muted by our Lord because of unbelief. Yani we umekata kuamini mpaka mungu. Yani ukienda kazini, unbelief. Ukienda nyumbani, unbelief. Watutu wana kuambi, wewe ukona unbelief mingi mpaka unakasirisha mungu. Paka mungu anmesema, sasa wewe, the only, ile suru, you know, the only way it is to mute you. How many want to be muted by the Lord? That is not our portion. We have to be starting up faith. Well, we can't ask you what you say, you speak faith. Bishop always tells us, Kanusha. Wakisema haitawezekana, unasema haitawezeka? Yes, unakanusha. Wakisema vijana hatu unakazi, unafenza sisi kazi yetu hii? Yes, ni lazima tukanushe. You can't, you can't talk. You have to be very careful. When you wako campus hapa, muko hapi, you have to be very careful. Wakisema campus, ikuizi watu hamalizi, masomo, unasema no. For me, I know my God. Amenipeleka pale, nitamaliza, nitaga graduate. Wengine wanasema, ta waki graduate, unasema mimi nitapata kazi. Ya kile nimesomea. We are not giving up. Wana asifiwe. Our God is in control. Amen? Amen. So we have to speak faith. Don't be muted like Zachariah. Na nakuambia, usisemi alikuwa mutu wa inji, alikuwa kwa kanisa. Maybe she was, a, the Bible says he was a priest. Kwa hivyo, he was doing the works, you know, working in the church all, serving the Lord. But wakati aliambiu atapata, imagine kama vile, Bishop tells us, unaomba that is not going to rain, na umebeba umbrella. Yani we unabeba muamvuri, na uriomba kusikuwe na mvua. Ati na kukinyesha. Na kukinyesha, you know, we have to put, you know, to, to, act, to act by faith. Faith is a substance of things hoped for. And the evidence of things that are not seen. But, wakati umeamini mungu, atafanya hivi na hivi. Kwa hivyo, kwa, kwa, kwa nini tena uwaze kudoubt? Zachariah was like, my wife, the way she is advanced in age. Hey, atapata mtoto. Imagine it displeased the Lord. Mungu alikasirika. Na akamu, and you know it is true, she, he was muted. Alifungwa mdomo. Hakuongea tena. 
Imagine the year 2024 unakutana na mtu unamuuliza an ni nini hauongei umefungwa mdomo <laughs> Yaani Mungu wewe umefungwa kwa sababu ukiongea hauongei imani Mungu anakuambia ninakumalizia deni zote you, you, are, you have been known of death Yaani umejaribu lakini hujaiweza kutoka pale Sasa 2024 Mungu anakuambia that mountain that mountain of death you are threshing it's going to be a chaff under your feet Na wewe unaanza kukataa Bwana asifiwe don't, don't be muted. Usikuwe muted. Trust in the Lord. Trust in the process. And God is going to do us good. I want us to be upstanding. I want us to surrender all unto the Lord. And there is a word I'm going to give you the last verse as we stand up. In Luke chapter 1 verse 45. That is our last verse as we stand up and we tell the Lord to have mercy on us. All of us, we need God to have mercy on us. If we can leave that together... Let's read that first together. Yes, the Bible says, For there shall be a performance. At blessed are those that believed. For there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Lord. There is going to be results. God is going to give us fruitfulness. It is not in vain that you have believed in the Lord. God wants to give us results. And so I want all of us, we tell the Lord, where you need those results, because we unajijua zaidi, you surrender all to the Lord. Because I think there is land that is getting restored in this place. There are people who are receiving their miracles today. And as we do this, I'll just ask the, the ministry to vote for a minute, just to come in front. And if you feel, let's agree, come and agree with somebody this morning, that God will restore back your life. That unbelief will not be your portion. Ametuambia, there is going to be performance. God, we need this performance. As we serve God, we want results. So I want us to surrender all to the Lord. Praise and worship, you can come. Let us lift our hands before the Lord. Father, we thank you as the ministry team comes forward just come and agree with somebody believe in the Lord because he has spoken the Bible says his word will never return to him void but he shall accomplish the purpose for that which it was sent for let us surrender all to the Lord Father we thank you we bless you because you are a faithful God the Bible says she believed oh God she acted in faith she acted in obedience oh God when you release the word my father she acted and in return, you rewarded her mighty, O oh God. This is our prayer, my Father. We rebuke the spirit of unbelief. We pray that God as a congregation, you are going to help us, my God, to put, my Father, to mix the word of God in faith, or to mix it with faith, that he may profit us in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, as you restored the life of this man, they are people, my God, they have land issues, they are asking, Lord, how will it be? But as this woman, the Bible says, she appeared, my God, she made an appeal at the right time. I want to pray for each and every person who has a, maybe a court case and they need you to intervene. My God, because of your word, I pray that you are going to come in in a mighty way and you are going to restore, my God. Oh, may you restore, my Father. May you restore, oh God. Even as we thresh these mountains, my God and my Father, may you restore, dear Father. May you there be performance, oh God, in the life of your people. May there be results, O oh God. May there be fruitfulness, O oh God. May you roll away the shame, O oh God. May you roll away the reproach, my God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Maybe your people have been named. They have been called barren, O oh God. They have been ridiculed, my Father. They have been mocked because of their faith. How I pray this morning that God, you are going to lift a standard, O oh God. You are going to lift a standard for your people. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Rika Robo Yentala la Maganda, Rika Yandoro Robo Zeria, Rimashenda la Labo, Robo Yentala la Mayanda. There is nothing that is too hard for you, my God. You are. God by yourself, you do great and mighty things. Glorify yourself this morning in the lives of every beer, my God. Glorify yourself, Jehovah. Them that are sick, oh God, believing you for healing. Lord, may you release that healing in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Those who are wondering how will my tomorrow be, may you start up their faith. The Lord, you are at work. The Lord, you are doing it, oh God. Oh, they only need obedience in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Rika Yandara Raboza, Robo Yentala Maganda, 
Oh, Thank you, Jesus. Father, we give you praise. We give you praise. And if you are there, you are not born again. Oh, it is your high time to surrender. Even as we had January, the year 2024, you can tell the Lord, I want to entrust my life to you. Oh, this year, I can do nothing without you. That's why we were told it's not by might. Just surrender. Give your life to the Lord this morning. In Jesus' mighty name.